let's take a look at the molecular geometry for ozone, O3. The first thing we need is a valid Lewis structure, and that's right here. If you need help, there's a link at the end of this video and in the description to how to draw this Lewis structure. So when you look at our Lewis structure for O3, it looks kind of linear, right? Straight line. But it's not symmetrical. This lone pair up here, that's really important. So let's jump over and build the molecule here, and you'll see why. So this is the central oxygen. Remember, we had a double bond and a single bonded oxygen right here. And this is linear, but that lone pair, let's add that lone pair because it occupies space, and look, it pushes everything down. And this gives us what we call a bent molecular geometry. So for ozone, that lone pair pushes it down. We end up with this bent molecular geometry. Let's go back. We could also figure out the molecular geometry for ozone with the AXE notation. So A is the central atom. We have one of those. X, the number of atoms attached. We have one, two. And E is the number of lone pairs on the central atom. This is the only lone pair. These right here, they're involved in a chemical bond. They're between the atoms. So just one lone pair. So we end up with AX2E1, or you could just call this AX2E, and you'll find that that is a bent molecular geometry. If this helped, drop a like, maybe subscribe, and thanks for watching.